Now it's cut loose to the slot. Score! Ryan McDonough with a rocket of a shot. They scored a goal, and we answered with a big goal to really get us going. Mac, great, great job. Oh, yeah. You're on fire offensively in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Have you surprised, perhaps, even yourself? You, you need a lot of things to go right, you know, to find yourself on the score sheet at, at a consistent level. And, you know, as, as this run has gone on for us, it's been so many contributions from everybody in our group, different guys uh, winning a battle or making an offensive play to, to generate a chance on the other end. So I've just been in, pretty fortunate to be involved in a few more of those in this recent run. Mom, I am going to be the best hockey player. You are from a, a hard-working family. Your father is a firefighter, your brother is a police officer. So those are guys who are used to putting their lives on the line on a regular basis. And here you are playing a kid's game for money. Uh, you ever think about how lucky you are to be doing that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, every uh, Sunday night growing up, my, my dad would have to sleep at the fire station. And, and every night before he'd go, he'd, he'd wish us, you know, good night and, and say how much he loved us. And, and um, you know, you just were, were anxious to hear from him the next day and know that he was okay. And he's told me many stories about going into burning buildings and jumping off a house when the roof was about to collapse. And I mean, it, it hits you pretty hard when you when you hear your dad talking about this and realize what he's trying to do to help others. And that same courage and, and that same motivation to help others is, is what I try and install in my life. You're from the, uh, the heartland of U.S. hockey, the state of Minnesota, and uh, we all know how big high school hockey is there, and you had the good fortune to win the state championship uh, with Creighton Hall with your, your brother Colin. Uh, state championship is, is huge in Minnesota. Until or if you win the Stanley Cup, does that remain the biggest victory of your hockey life? I mean, it, it's such a dream come true when you're that age. I mean. People don't understand how many people follow high school hockey there. Just the spirit of the game really comes out you know, for the school. It was a great moment for sure. It meant a lot to my family and, and uh, high school friends as well. Uh, you were still at Wisconsin when the Canadians dealt you to the Rangers in 09. What were you thinking at the time about that trade? Didn't really know how to react. It was pretty shocking. I never played a pro game, never signed a contract. I remember when Glenn first called me and there was, uh, I think it was a Thursday, it was in the summer, they had their prospect camp going on and, and the camp was ending on a Friday and he asked me if I wanted to be flown out for the one day just to see everybody and you could definitely see how much he cared about trying to get his players you know, involved and, and feel a part of a group here and what they're trying to do. It's a great winning atmosphere and um, I've just been fortunate to get a great opportunity here to play. Out in front, Big Dunham, he scores! His first NHL goal! Okay, now we fast forward to April of 11. You scored your first ever NHL goal at Madison Square Garden and it put the Rangers into the playoffs. How do you remember it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously my first year, 40 games in and, you know, I hadn't had a goal yet. It's not like I was thinking, oh, this is going to be the game when we needed a win here to, to give ourselves a chance to make the playoffs. And I remember actually it was Marion Gabrick that uh, won the puck battle, got it uh, behind the net to Vinny Prospo, and he, he found me coming down in, in the blue line. I was able to get a good shot off and a celebration. I was just so excited. I looked like a, a young kid again. Ryan McDonough helps lead the Rangers into the Stanley Cup final. How does that storyline sound to you? Well, it just feels great to be a part of the Stanley Cup final part and that uh, means a lot to me and this group especially. Now that we're here, you know, we understand that it, it, it took a lot of work and we want to make that work you know, pay off and, and, and try and grab a hold of this opportunity.